Hello everybody, um, welcome back to the series on the Cthulhu Mythos, um, and today we are going to be talking about Nyarlathotep, the Crawling Chaos. Now, um, I'm sure um, I'm pronouncing that name wrong. Um, it's probably spelt different than I pronounce it. But I've just always called it Nyarlathotep. Um, so that is who we're talking about today. Now, um, first appearance um, Nyarlathotep made was in the poem Nyarlathotep, written by Lovecraft in um, 1920. And um, Nyarlathotep in the poem is kind of um, like an Antichrist-type figure um, who comes out as um, this magnificent showman who um, wows the crowd with all of his tricks and um, all of his um, worldly know-how. It's kind of almost like a a Pied Piper kind of thing um, with the crowds that follow him around. And um, as he goes from town to town, the cities are basically destroyed. It's almost as if um, he's bringing the apocalypse with him as he comes through. And in towns where he's been, they've talked about um, banning sleep because once people sleep, um, the screams of madness and fear um, fill the town loudly that um, if that doesn't make you go crazy, like nothing else will kind of thing. Um and basically, it ends with the world destroyed in flames, what have you. Um, some scholars have attributed the um, Nyarlathotep performing as a um, nod to Tesla, but um, there were, there's no like evidence from Lovecraft of this, but during that period of the early 1900s um, and 19 teens, there were tons of people who were um, going around as um, kind of like sideshow, not really sideshow, but like they would put on shows and whether it be like the mechanics of the future or, um, spirituality. Like they would use, um, like preachers, showman preachers would use these theatrics that were unknown to, um, people as a, like a connection with the divine or something of that nature. Um, so anyway, um, Nyarlathotep appears in a ton of Lovecraft stuff, and, um, he even is kind of the, um, bridge between the Cthulhu mythos and the dream cycle, um, because he is basically the, um, antagonist in the dream quest of Unknown Kadath, but he's appeared in, um... It's rumored that he is, um, there's going to be some spoilers here, so if you guys haven't read stories that are 100 years old, um, you better get to it, because you only have seconds now. In the Whisper in the Dark, <clears throat> um, it is said that he is probably um, the person the main character is talking to, thinking it's his friend. Um and people argue this, but the, um, the Maigo people, um, who were chanting, um, and, um, doing all this stuff in the chant talk about, 
um, Nyarlathotep coming as the messenger, wearing the waxen face, and blah, 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 blah. And um, at the end of the story, um, our hero finds a wax copy of his friend's face. But Nyarlathotep is also supposed to be a shapeshifter of some standing, I guess. Um, because in some stories he is like a winged tentacled figure um, in other ones uh, Dreams of the Witch House he's the um, black man from the woods The Haunter of the Dark um, which was the one I was talking about with the um, winged creature like in Rats in the Walls uh, The Shadow Out of Time um, there's mention of him some people think he is also the bearded man in the white ship. Um, and I think one of the reasons, well, let me say this last bit. Um, in the poem, um, Fungi from Yugoth, um, or Yugoth, Yagoth, um, which apparently is Pluto. Um, I don't know exactly what year Pluto was discovered as Pluto, but, um, a lot of stories dealing with the Yugoth um, talk about them coming from the undiscovered ninth planet in the solar system and all this other stuff. But anyway, um, there's one um, chapter or whatever you would call it in that poem that is kind of a retelling of the longer Nyarlathotep poem. But the thing about him is the reason why he shows up in so much stuff and since Lovecraft's death has been probably, I want to say, used almost more than Cthulhu in other people's works. Um, Robert Block wrote a ton of books of him being the Egyptian pharaoh. Um, there's just so much stuff about him, and I think it's because he is the only mythos god that has a human form. And he's been referred to as the messenger, the mighty messenger, the messenger from Azathoth, um, who was supposed to be his father, and... Um, all this other stuff. So, um, he can change forms. He can change shape, but, um, his human self is the one that walks the earth that, um, screws with people that, um, wherever he goes, madness and chaos follows. Even though he is um, referred to as the Crawling Chaos, he does not appear in the story The Crawling Chaos. Lovecraft said he just liked the sound of the word. Um, and that was written... He co-wrote that with someone. And um, right around the same time he wrote Nyarlathotep. So he just like took the name. Um... But Nyarlathotep is very interesting in that um, he is the only one who isn't um, in slumber beneath the earth or in the outer cosmos trying to slowly devour everything and end up getting here and destroying everything. Um, he is here and he can basically do whatever he wants. Um, so it's a very interesting character and in talking about everyone who has used Nyarlathotep in their own stuff. Um, Stephen King said that, um, Randall Flagg from The Stand was Nyarlathotep. Um, when he, I mean, I don't think that's in the book, but um, that's what he said. So, do we look at him with the same eyes we look at um, J.K. Rowling when she tries to change stuff after the fact? 
Um, but anyway, I guess in an early draft of the story, um, he used the term Neralethotep when Randall Flagg was saying other names he's been known by, and for some reason or another, the editors cut that out of the book. So, whatever. But, um, that's interesting. So, um... Oh, and if you haven't read The Stand yet, I kind of ruined that for you, sort of, so um, apologies there. Uh, but yeah, so um, that's Neralethotep. Um, do you have a favorite Neralethotep story? Do you have a favorite um, Neralethotep story not written by Lovecraft? Um, I know he's very prominent in a lot of the RPG games and a lot of the video games and stuff like that. So, um, let me know down below what you think, and, um, I will talk to you later.